I'm quite ready for another adventure. Oh, my dear Bilbo, I very much agree with you. Guys, hello there, and welcome to another episode of our Crafter playthrough. Today, I think I'm quite ready for another adventure. And so, um, I got a few books here for uh, the rest of our uh, loyal guys to uh, learn something new, fleshy fighting skills to help us in the biome. Today we will visit a um, different one. Last time we got into a something of a forest world. There was the Dark Lord. Mm, all of it seemed pretty, you know, normal. Well, you know, standard for crap the uh, world. But today, I think that the place will be uh, slightly uh, more magical, if I may say so myself. Um, anyways, um, before I go, I'm gonna. Spend some more mana, do some more things, uh, but you won't. But you guys won't have to, you know, watch that. You'll hop right into the game, or you know, close to it. I have to say that soon after saying that, I decided that all this can wait. The important stuff right now is the adventure. Today, uh, we'll not be heading into the forest world. We will be heading into this world. And as you can see, the antagonist looks a little different. Um, he looks blue for starters. Um, as I said, today we'll be doing this one. Uh, the next uh, adventure episode will be going in here. And we'll leave this pretty guy right here for... <laughs> Uh, the last one. Anyway, let's waste no more time and let's get into the uh, biome. And here we uh, go. I think we escaped in a right time. There was a vaping coming and um, yeah, here we are. Um, this place looks a little different. And this time there's actually a majority of men. Very interesting. Uh, so what does that mean? Okay, we have been left with, uh, yeah, the B team, except for our hero, the God's Chosen Warrior 9, who will hopefully be uh, of help here. Anyways, let's, um, you know, do the classic, let's establish ourselves a little base, and let's look at all the, the rooms. As you can see, the map is not huge. Um, but the core dungeon or the central du dungeon of this map might surprise you. There are all these different flowers, blocks and whatnot, but these, these are very interesting. Because as far as I'm concerned, these blocks are um, our gateway for an unlimited amount of war to come through. And if you destroy them, even more war will come out. So I'm just gonna keep this locked for now. Because I'm not sure we really want that much war in here. But hey, it's an amazing block. Can't deny that. As you guys might be able to see here, we do have a uh, frozen part of the map. Which um, is right in the center. So hopefully we're not meeting any yetis. I really, really hate yetis. Uh oh, what is this? That does not look good. I know I said I hated yetis, but what if, what if the yetis were actually here to help us? What if we just free them from their masters? That's an interesting twist, right? And this is exactly what happens here on this map. Uh, you can release all of these uh, friendly yetis or captive yetis, which become friendly because, hey, you free them from their evil masters. But that just begs the question, 
who the hell are we facing? We have not encountered any slave masters yet in the game. So these guys are probably not very friendly. And if they were able to, you know, keep these in check, we might have a problem. Anyways, I think we better get some new weapons. Uh, freeing people is great and all, but, um, you know, you can't free many people if you don't have any equipment to be there for masters. So yeah, let's go ahead and, and get this for our colony. And whatever you guys do, do not question the letters. The letters are just perfect. I feel like we cannot go wrong with 9 leading artex, so I'm pretty confident. Wait, no, I'm not confident. I take that back. Maybe maybe I should reconsider a little. Maybe I should wait for these to get made and get ourselves a longbow for the archer too. Um, I'm not that sure about the staff. Uh, I think we can wait a little more. I want to run equipped to, you know, have uh, better chances against uh, the restless uh, dwarves. And we're gonna need a needle crystal and a quartz too. Uh, I think I should be able to get that. And I instantly forgot what I needed. I totally needed the quartz. But what else? The stupid green crystal, right? Yes. So. As usual, there are some good news and some bad news. Um, I don't think I was um, able to get the last uh, stop, so one's gonna just you know stab him, which should not be a big problem. But yeah, well, hopefully it's not gonna be a big. Oh, okay. You, my friend, will be released very uh, soon since you came to us in uh, need. There's totally more of them, but uh, as I said first, I want the new weapons. Good. I love being the good guy. Anyways, uh, let's waste no more time and let's get right in. We really need some of those weapons. Uh, we also do have the Froglisk to help us, and we do have the Yetis in case things will go really, really wrong. Okay, this is... Once again, the most terrible position to fight in, but I'm gonna allow it. Why not? Okay, great. This is a better position. Okay, the guy that was stabbing is already running away. That's not a good sign. Um, and there's one guy left. Okay. Is the frog is coming, maybe? Uh, the frog is absolutely not coming. And the yetis are, um, yeah chilling too so good nine dealt with the problem that's what i like to see um obviously everyone went to sleep so um i guess i can you know gather all the resources myself because no one no one else is working here so finally everyone feels fresh and ready to uh, do uh, my bidding uh, well more or less ready to do my bidding which means sailor swords for me baby let's go that's precisely what uh, we needed plus also some um, some crystals would be great too so what the hell is the goddamn green crystal so as uh, some of you may have expected that there's no uh, goddamn or crystal in uh, sight but that will not uh, stop us we'll equip our warriors and we'll go ahead and get uh, these resources over here okay it almost looks like there's only one guy here i think we should be able to, able to handle this look at them so happy to be free what a great feeling to be a saber and we actually do damage that's that's fun that's great and where are we going to get i wouldn't mind getting some methyl right about now that's not exactly Mithril, but I think it'll do. Oh, yeah, great. Um, this is not good. Um, I don't know how I did that, but I'm just going to close it off. Because I absolutely don't want any pawns here. But I gotta admit that this is pretty funny. Okay, no, 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 I, I don't want him to drown. <laughs> God damn it. 
Wait, I can't really gather all the work. Okay, so maybe it's better you stay here. Oh, hello. Let's free this guy too. Look at him helping us carry items to our base. Very thankful, bro. I'm very thankful. I also better get some real armor and weapons um, ready. So I'm thinking that some gold should be appropriate for our legion. You know, this isn't really the best place for you to spawn, but you know, keep going and see where that gets you. Well, definitely did not get him far. How come there's no green crystals around this place? The game's just trying to piss me off. And I have to say that it is pretty much working. I think... Okay, no. Why are you guys doing this? Okay, I, I need to block this off or else everyone's gonna drown here. How come you never learn to swim? You're yetis. Constantly around snow and ice. It's war. Oh no, don't go don't go in. Why why would you but you're gonna kill yourself? Okay, the logs are the log bridges are in place, so hopefully no more people are gonna kill themselves. Or no more yetis, rather. Okay, um nine got pretty fucked up here, but the frog is is going to finish the job and the bridges work perfect so hopefully they're not gonna fall off of them that'd be pretty sad you know i don't want them dying randomly after i force to them okay so what interesting stuff are we getting inside silver armor well thank you very much that's gonna be useful um also the, the silver armor recently got uh, buffed and the um, mobility uh, debuff was uh, decreased, which essentially means that um, it's better now for archers and mages, as it does not restrict their movement as much. So that's uh, totally going to be useful. Hopefully they did not lower the armor though. A little bit, I think of it, they may have lowered it a little. Well, hopefully it's not going to be too noticeable. Look what we have here. Um, these may or may not be the outlines of the central dungeon, which means we better tread very carefully moving around these parts. Yes, this is exactly what I was uh, referring to. As you guys might have seen, these are our antagonists, um, the ice elves. So yeah, be better very very careful around here our warriors are slowly but surely looking like they mean business but right now we still don't want to engage our uh, enemy here at least not right now but we're slowly approaching that point where we will be able to fight them the precious gem we have all been looking for perfect so now we finally can equip our last mage with his actual weapon of choice. Oh, we're going to be needing some more leather. Uh, what could that be? Are there any chests nearby? Hmm. I wanted you guys to see some of the uh, entries in the best story. Uh, I will not show you the next page because you know there's someone you have not met yet. Uh, but here he is, the Ice Elf Bowman, dangerous, real sniper. So, this entry is basically telling us that we have to uh, rush him up close with our warriors, which I'm pretty fine with. Now, to capture the Yetis, are a little dangerous, and if we free them, they can carry resources to the stockpile as well as help us in the battle. Now, the, obviously the help is not going to be tremendous, but it's still a helping hand or two. Which is totally going to be useful because, you know, this place is pretty big, trust me. Down here, uh, we have the turrets, um, so hopefully we'll be able to get there somehow. And although I'm not really sure the um, turrets will be uh, oh, that useful on this map. 
And though I guess that if we were able to, you know, get the Teslas, they might still be pretty great. So I'm gonna try to get there and see. Okay, so for some reason, some of our drones decided to engage the enemy again. Just a little though, so they they are yeah, even more watchful now, which is which is great. I was trying to get you know the element of surprise on our side, but apparently, we really need to engage our enemy. So if you would be as kind as to not go inside again, that that'd be just just great. Great. So you you, you killed someone. Are you happy with yourself? Yeah. Good. So as you can see, um, everyone's um uh, very much following my orders. Just perfect. Yeah. That's just great. Okay. No. 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 I I really need you guys to not go inside. Is it is so much of a problem? Just don't go inside. Great. Uh, yeah, just tell me there are, you know, those signs available to us. Yeah, the Bavaria signs. That's what it, exactly what I need. Perfect. Problem solved. Yeah, this is the enemy I wanted to fight all along. Because I really want to see what kind of turrets are we getting. Hopefully not the wooden ones. Just once, I'd like to get Teslas, if possible. Please, pretty please. And that's what I like to see. Good. Um, this might actually be uh, pretty useful. Okay, why would you? Why did you do this? Why? Why can you just not fuck? Okay, this is this. great. So, um, there's some bad stuff going to happen to you for this shit. Don't you worry. You're on my fucking list, bro. You're on my fucking list. Good. Let's get the Teslas and let's show them what a Tesla like this can uh, do. We could also try to get um, some potions here. I'm not that sure about it, so we'll see. How about you fuck off? How does that sound to you? Let me get some more Teslas over here and I'm going to break this block and then you're going to suffer for all you're doing here. Yeah, but you want me to open it? I'll open it for you. Don't worry. There you go. Hmm? Great, isn't it? So fuck off now. Very satisfying. I like it. Anyways, um, yeah, let's try to get up here. Some potions are, you know, better than none. That's what I I always used to say. Uh, plus, we should also have some more helmets for our guys. Yeah. And now soon we will we'll have uh, these for everyone that's gonna be um, the peak of our power I think uh, maybe I could make some more uh, shields but hmm. yeah you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna get our guys some more shields so we are pretty close to the um, this place although we'll have to take a little shortcut and um, these should not be undestroyable I'm pretty sure they're pretty hard to actually you know get rid of plus I have not really equipped anyone with anything so um yeah we're, we're digging using knives so that's exactly why I'm trying to avoid these and what the actual fuck are you doing to my turret a little dipshit okay you know what <laughs> that's not the fact that I don't want to send them here does not mean that I'm not going to there you go what does that feel bad right yeah I know Okay, but I really have to send everyone home now. No more... Wait, maybe this guy deserves it, so... Let's get him to... And perfect. Okay, now everyone home. It was just a little intrusion here. Oh, and we also released this guy. He looks like he deserves it. And we might... No, 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 no. <laughs> we need to leave. This is not what I had planned. I still want to get some more stuff before... <laughs> Before going in here, but as you can see, we're slowly trying, we're slowly getting the picture. So, right here is where we want to go um, now. Hopefully, getting some more interesting stuff to uh, play with. Anyways, um, the elven helmets we've got are pretty, pretty damn decent. So, I think our warriors are gonna get these. Don't tell me everyone's going to sleep again. 
good. Look at him guarding all the slaves, bro. Hi. I hate to break it to you, but you're, you're going down first. I really hate, you know, slave masters. Okay, and we did get mana potions, which is not 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 great. <laughs> I was hoping for health potions, but okay, doesn't matter now. Um, our warrior will get the um, elven helmet, as he really needs it. By the way, a very very cool uh, armor. I think you can get this too from the um, you know special drops. So that might be something we bring along um, home. Anyways, um, yeah, I know what I wanted. Give me give me just a few more seconds. Okay, so um, I'm going to mine some more stuff out, and then we're going to attack the um, enemy base. Uh, but as you can see, you can totally dig through this, um, although it's you know painfully slow, especially if, if you're yeah using knives to to dig it out. <laughs> so yeah, digging this out is um, a thing. In any case, I'm feeling like our troops are ready. For uh, the attack, everyone should be full HP, and the equipment is uh, looking like this right now. Our warriors do have uh, grinding stones, shields, and uh, setup similar to uh, this. Our mages, wizard staffs, that should be enough for them. Um, some archers with these shields, and our general <laughs> with the elven. Uh, helmet, uh, now that I think of it, I might be able to, uh, yeah, I don't have the leather, that's what I thought, uh, yeah, so I can get only one of these, wait, I do have the leather, so, hmm, that means that we can actually buff both uh, the archers, um, as well, stuff like these, uh, or stuff like this is, is just a tiny little boost, you can get your wars before, you know, actually fighting, but, as you can see, it increased the guy's damage by like. Okay, it did not even increase the uh, damage, and it's it's a girl. So um, <laughs> as you can see, it's not that great, but you know, who knows? Might be useful sometimes. Anyways, we will send our guys right here on top of his ass, and we'll see what uh, happens. I wanted to go up here first because obviously. Um, if we actually uh, free the slaves, then I think we might have a big help in our fight. Anyways, um, why the actual fuck is everyone f just ignoring um, the order? Okay, I messed the order even more, but this doesn't matter. And as you can see, maybe I should have placed it to the side so um, they have some more stable blocks to uh, stand on. Anyways, right now. We'll try to release as many slaves as possible so they'll turn on their former uh, masters. Now, uh, many of them may die, but that's, that's you know, something that can't be blamed on me. You know, it's their conscious decision to help us, so, yeah, I believe they will be fine. Maybe not. Okay, but let's, let's, yeah, as I said, let's not blame it on ourselves. We did what we could. Release some more people. Yeah, great. Um, we absolutely need to get down here and kill this guy. We need to kill all the guards and release all these uh, people. Yetis. It doesn't matter. There are people too. As you can see, they're not much of you know much in terms of you know actual warrior skill. But okay, but what the actual fuck is this? They literally can't reach him. Oh god. As you can see, the encampment is pr the encampment is pretty uh, big. Let's just um, destroy all the upper layers before we uh, move on. That sounds like a good idea to me. We are slowly but surely making our way to the bottom of this place, and um, I think we should leave that, you know, for uh, some. Sometime uh, later, right now, I just want to get everyone healed, and then we will continue in our um, little journey to the middle of this thing to find out what the hell is causing all this, or rather, who the hell is the leader here? Oh, hello, another enemy there. We have not seen you before. 
Okay, I'll let these two guys. This, this is just perfect. <laughs> All these helpers. No, but they do the thing voluntarily right now, you know, instead of being slaves. So we're, we're much better than the elves. Don't worry about it. We couldn't possibly be the bad guys and we couldn't be exploiting uh, these poor people. And here it is. Yeah, that's not what we do. The run seems to be fully healed. Okay, I take that back. But pretty much, you know, close to fully healed. So I think we can um, continue here and we'll make another portal there. There you go, buddy. And we will destroy uh, this layer of um, buildings. We also cancel this out because we don't need it anymore. Um, but this girl might be, might prove to be uh, pretty, pretty dangerous. She's just very much uh, being <laughs> all yetis here and they don't really stand a chance against her. That's bad. Okay, maybe they'll just overwhelm her. Okay. <laughs> she should not have pissed all those yetis off. Um, anyways, um, let you free some more of them. That's, that's what we do with the good guys. Save as many people as possible. And you sure we shouldn't be doing this. Okay, some of our guys just no 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 no. This is this is not the way. Back up you go. Okay, can't control her anymore for some reason. Okay, why are you hmm? Okay, there's a lot of enemies here. I'm sensing we're getting the the bottom of this. Oh no, you better run. And this is not the proper way to you know run away. There's a lot of enemies still down here. I think that this is the key to all. We better get it down here. Oh, and what the actual fuck is this? <laughs> so this is um the core, the fucking heart of this place. Um, and you do end this map by um destroying it. Now I do believe that it has the capabilities to spawn the uh, banshees if they uh, even are the banshees I'm not sure okay let's check the um, let's check the uh, best trip for answers okay so um, they are the elven uh, witches the leader of the ice elf expedition she teleports the crystal that the elves use to capture other uh, worlds oh I did not even realize so um this crystal, um, apparently, um, yeah, and the crystal does spawn uh, more of these witches. Good to know. Uh, anyways, um, so the story behind it, or you know, the general idea behind it, seems to be that um, these witches uh, do teleport this crystal around, you know, different worlds to uh, make the place a uh, little bit for them. So that is essentially, if you were wondering, uh, the reason for uh, this world being, you know, half normal, lush and stuff, and half uh, frozen, which is, in my, you know, eyes, a pretty interesting idea actually. Um, usually, you see this kind of idea exploited with like alien races making, um, you know, the place pretty fucking dark and mushy and media and alien-like. <laughs> So um, this is a pretty nice um, twist on that, I think. As you can see, the central room is pretty big. Uh, the fights are not really that tough. Uh, we did have more problems with the Dark Lord, but um, with all the you know yetis involved too, um, I think that this is a pretty, pretty good uh, biome uh, map. Anyways, I did not mine as much stuff uh, on this map, and uh, I don't think I even want to. I think I just want to um, destroy the crystal, go home. Um, we're getting some money anyway, so that's you know one of the main reasons I actually went here in the first place. So I think I'm gonna do uh, just fine with that. Plus, we might also get some part of the um, the ice or the Elwyn uh, armor. The crystal has been destroyed and. Um, I didn't realize, but yeah, I could have, you know, uh, deconstructed some more stuff to, you know, actually profit uh, a little more here, but it doesn't matter. 
and we are the winners. Uh, once again, the stats, um, I tried to explain it in the last video in the super episode, so if you care about, uh, you know, trying to figure out what the hell these mean, um, check that episode out. Anyways, uh, the guy did get some rewards, or the guys did get some rewards despite, you know, being destroyed, so that's great for them. We did get 50 coins, uh, some uh, materials, the gold is especially going to be useful, some potions, but this time we actually got some... A uh, new uh, weapon as well. Although I'm not exactly sure this halberd or what it is, it's going to be that good. I still uh, very much uh, take it. Oh, yeah, we do get some extra time now, so that's perfect. Um, so I'm quickly just going to you know try to mine some more stuff out, and um, I'll see you uh, on the other side of the portal back home. Oh look, we also did get some more um, you know loot. Um, as you can see, the bows, uh, the Elven bows, are much better than, um, or no, not much better, but, uh, you know, visibly better than the um, bows we can craft. Plus, we got some Elven armor and Elven boots, so let's just quickly pop it on our general. And as you can see, it might look a little silly on a dwarf, but, um, yeah, I think he deserves it. He'll wear it as... Um, Reminder of his great uh, victory. Unfortunately, you know, it will be gone as soon as we go get home, but yeah. So, uh, after assembling most of the gear, um, you know, except for our general's gear, because that would be just terrible for the morale of everyone here, uh, I think we're, you know, ready to, to leave this uh, place. Leave this place. Yeah, good. Um, before we go, as you can see, it is much better now. Everyone is free, everyone is happy. And yeah, everyone is, uh, I don't know what they're going to do with this place, but frankly, um, I couldn't care less. I'm <laughs> just going home. Goodbye. Oh, I almost forgot uh, we left the world uh, in the middle of um, an incoming invasion. So I'm totally going to deal with that, but right now, oh, 20 FPS because of all the loot. Although that's, you know, a pretty good sign generally but what is that elven halbert hel 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 I don't know how to read that but um, how much damage does the Yaragan okay so <laughs> as you can see it's pretty much useless um, what I kind of you know thought uh, would be um, the case but I think that we do have some warriors that do have it steel swords still yes so it's an upgrade for this guy Congratulations. <laughs> oh, but frame rate is really terrible. Hey, so no one apparently cares about the invasion, and these guys are trying to what? Get on top of my roof to haunt me every day, or what are you going for? Jesus fucking Christ. Well, apparently they're just fine with stacking on top of each other and making a statue here, so I guess that when they're happy, I'm happy too, but could you not, please? For the love of God. It's home. Um, the Horde finally decided to get the fuck out of here. Um, <laughs> and my dwarves will hopefully decide to get all the stuff back where it belongs. But anyway, Sam, thank you for uh, watching this um, episode where we um, checked out the second biome, the frozen or the ice biome, filled with uh, the elves. Uh, next episode. It will rather con will either continue, you know, um, doing stuff in this world, trying our uh, best to form the Gold Legion, or we might go for yet another uh, journey. I'm still not exactly sure what we're gonna do, but um, you guys can absolutely find out by you know tuning in the next time too. So yeah, um, this will be all for me today. I hope you did enjoy this uh, biome episode, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, comment, or even a subscribe if you do want to get notified about my future uploads. But as I said, uh, we'll be signing off, so I hope you'll have a wonderful rest of the day, and goodbye.